Hey, what's going on, man? It's Jason Capital here. Welcome to this video. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three lessons that are going to be super impactful for you, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you wanna be an entrepreneur, whether you have nothing to do with business, you're just trying to get better with your relationships, with your finances, with your mastering your emotions, with all the important areas of your life. These are three very valuable lessons. I don't think I've really talked about them anywhere. And they're very, very relevant, okay? The first lesson that I wanna give you is this. Standards, yes but reality, yes. Okay, why am I saying that? What the hell does that mean? I understand that's kind of like, Jason, it's very philosophical, it's very deep, it makes no sense, it's vague. What does it mean? Well, I'd like to explain that to you right now. So, in two days, my brand new higher status video program will be coming out publicly to the world. We've had early testers, the results have been amazing, but it's coming out officially. Now, you're gonna be seeing it for the first time, it's what, July 2017. I have been working on it, since September 2016, it's almost 10 months straight. And that's what I wanna talk about, right? Standards, yes, but reality, yes. Here's what I mean, you've heard that you need to raise your standards, right, because when you have a higher standard, then you hold yourself to a higher level and you don't give up so easily. You're like, until I hit it, until I'm doing my life at this point, I'm not satisfied. I'm going for more, right? If you have a standard that you only date someone of this level, when you meet someone who's at this level, even if they're kind of cool, you're not gonna just be like, okay, I'm, I'll settle, right? You don't settle. You have a high standard, you go, you know what? Cool, we'll be friends, but I want something better for myself, right? Maybe in business, maybe you're at a point where you have a standard where your internal standard is, I must be making $200,000 a year. Let's just say that that's just a random number, right? That's just the money that you need, the amount that you need to live the life that you want on your terms. Well, if you're making, I don't know, $84,000 a year, are you gonna be satisfied? Are you gonna be happy? Are you gonna take your foot off the gas pedal or are you gonna push harder? Are you gonna go further? Are you going to hold yourself to that real standard, right? So a guy who's making 84 grand a year, he wants to make 200. If he is stuck at 84, I can assure you it's because he has an internal standard that says 84 is good enough, right? If his internal standard was, you know what, 200K only minimum, is good enough, don't you think he might start thinking differently, might start thinking bigger, might start taking more actions, might start pushing himself up further? The answer is of course, yes, all right? And what does this have to do with the, the video program? Well, here's the thing. In 2014, I released the original Status 42-Day Transformation Program, the biggest program I've ever created. Um, it was $1,000 to get into, and we graduated more than 1,500 guys through that one program. We actually have a 200-page PDF report full of just success stories from guys who went through the program, right? Guys who were afraid to talk to women are now, they have their pick of the most beautiful, amazing women in their city. Guys who couldn't get a, a raise are now being promoted above their boss. Guys who couldn't lose weight are losing 100 pounds and getting in the best shape of their life. Everything is going correct, is going the way they want it to for them in all the places where it never did before, no matter what they tried, right? Incredible program. Right, And if I had a standard that said that was good enough, then I would have no reason to create a new one in 2017, right? But I do have a standard that says it's always rising. Right? That's another key you want with standards is you want to always keep it rising, but you never want to rise it so much in one point that it's unrealistic. And that's why I said standards, yes, but reality, yes, right? If you're a guy making 84K a year and you're like a million dollars a year, right? Dr. fucking evil, a million dollars a year well unless you have a distinct fast track plan to achieve a million dollar a year income you're gonna feel pretty bad right imagine imagine you're making 84 grand a year and you're like i have to make a million dollars a year and every day you look in your bank account and you make 200 bucks a day 400 bucks a day 320 the day before you're like i'm not even close how is that going to make you feel how is that like when you look in the mirror how are you going to start looking at yourself you're going to be disappointed you're going to be your self image your self esteem is going to start to drop not because you did anything wrong but because you simply held yourself to an impossible standard right an unrealistic standard so we want to have high standards we want to be constantly raising our standards when we achieve the one before but we never want to raise it so high that it is out of touch with reality okay and that that's what i did with this program right i had you know 2013 2014 we released the original 2017 we have the new one it took three years for me to be like it's time to raise this motherfucker to the next level all right so that's number one we got three total here so let's get to number two all right i want to talk about patience versus perfectionism. All right, what is perfectionism? What does that really mean? What does that really look like for someone like me, for someone like you? And, and, and it's possible you know someone who has dealt with perfectionism, right? They're that guy who's always like, 
they're working on their new ebook they're working on their new website they're you know they're working on their new look their new video their new piece of art and they will never show it to you because they're like it's not ready yet it's not ready yet it's almost ready it's not ready yet they are using they're using the the cop out of it's not ready yet the cop out of perfectionism as a crutch for not actually having to put themselves out there because when you put yourself out there aren't you going to have to deal with some hate aren't you going to have to deal with some criticism right it is inevitable listen to this not only will you not be able to please everybody 100 of the time but you won't be able to piss off everybody 100 of the time either it just it can't happen because you know when you got to put that piece of art that website that thing out there to the world you're going to get some hate you're gonna get some criticism and people they don't like that they got little thin skin they can't deal with it right they are they're not a cashew in a world full of peanuts they're just peanuts they can't help it all right and they, they use perfectionism as an excuse okay but what about the other side right patience now if you're being patient with that piece of art if you're being patient with that ebook you're being patient with that website isn't that different though you're like I, I really I, it's not ready yet I really want it to be great before I put it out there yes right and it's a paradox so how do you deal with this you have to find that happy medium you have to find that balance between you know I'm, I'm being a little pussy here by not putting that thing out there that's that's the weak one that's the perfectionist one and then the other side of it is the the patience one where you know you're not being a little pussy but you really are holding yourself to a truly high standard and I know for me right I said I've been working on this this brand new video program it's, it's gonna be the biggest thing we've ever done it's the best thing I've ever done coming out in two days I worked on it from September 2016 now until July 2017 right 10 months for one program that's huge for me Usually, I, I mean, there's a lot of programs I've created an entire day because, you know, maybe I've been studying for a few months and working with clients and clients and clients and, and achieving this thing. And then it kind of, it comes out in one day in one shot. But this is something it's like, I've been super patient with it. Here's, here's how I know. Here's how I look at it. If I were to take a few more months now to be like, it's not ready yet. Like it's 96.6% of the way there. But that last 3.4%. I gotta get it right, I gotta get it perfect. And, and I just took months and months and months just to get that little bit, mm -mm. that would be perfectionism, right? I, I feel good about it right now, okay? I feel like I'm in a good place, like that patience, perfectionism, I'm in that good place where it's, the standard is, has been met, the standard is super high, but we're putting it out there, right? And here's the thing, you know when you put that thing out there, it's not done, okay? This is another huge mindset shift I want you to make and notice that you're making now because it's never done. There are no outcomes. It's never over. You have nothing. You put it out there, you get feedback, you tweak it, you sculpt it, right? You're not trying to win sweepstakes where you put it out there and you get one shot to hit the lotto or not. No, you are sculpting it. You get the feedback, you sculpt it and, and optimize it some more. You put it out there again, you get even more feedback, right? And you listen to the ones that are, it's true feedback, objective feedback, not just haters, right? But then you, you sculpt it again, you tweak it, and you make it better and better and better. You Kaizen the shit out of it, just like you Kaizen the shit out of everything in your life, right? That's the second lesson that I got from just creating this program and I wanna share with you. The third one is this, okay? We went to Tulum, Mexico to film this program. We're directly on the beach. It's a 25 day program and all 25 days you're there with me on the beach in Mexico with the water behind me. It's beautiful water right now too. And we're actually going on a, a boat for brunch in like 20 minutes too on the water again. It's a water life. Anyways, we went to Mexico. Beautiful place, all right? Beautiful people, I love that place. A lot of yoga there too, in case you like people who do yoga, if you know what I mean. It took seven days for us to film it, right? Seven days filming nonstop from sun up until sundown. On day seven, the final day, right? We got, we worked so hard. We're right there, me and my video team. And on day six, the night before, we all ate some funky, funky tacos and woke up on day seven with some funky, funky morning breath where something wasn't right. We all got sick. So what do we do, right? We're exhausted. We're in the bathroom. We can't focus. We're like depleted. We're fatigued. And in that moment, I can distinctly remember looking in the mirror, looking at Jason, and I'm like, Jason, what are you gonna do right now? Right, and for a moment there, I hate to admit it, but I thought about extending our trip, taking a few days to recover, and then finishing it, right? I thought about letting fatigue make a coward out of me, as Vince Lombardi would say. And I remember looking in the mirror, just like I'm looking at you right now, and I said to myself, fuck no. I said, Jason, to the 99%, Fatigue means stop. Fatigue means, yeah, take a few days off. Fatigue is your body telling you, yeah, you need to chill, okay? 
But to someone like you, to someone like me, fatigue is a challenge. Fatigue means rise. Fatigue means go harder. Fatigue means go in, find those, those reserves that we all have, but we never get to experience except in those rare occasions in our lives and go there and pull it out and use that today. And that is exactly what I ended up doing. And the guys who, who recorded that program with me, they said that that day seven, even though we're all just sick and feeling, we're sick as dogs. They all said they had never seen me perform like that, give like that, do things I'd never done before. They, they felt things from, from my speaking and my coaching and my installing that they'd never felt before, right? It was maybe one of the best coaching days of my life. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hang my head on it because I'm like, man, fuck that, every day I'm gonna be better. But that's the lesson, okay? To the 99%, fatigue means stop, chill out, take a break, join the 99%, watch a TV show, let the world pass you by. But to people like us, okay, to action takers, to eagles, to unstoppable high status badasses like us, that's not what fatigue means, okay? Fatigue means rise. Fatigue means it's a challenge to see if you're really, if you're really serious about what you say that you want in life, because there's a lot of freaking talkers out there, there's not a lot of doers. So at the end of this video, I will leave you with one final question before I go on my my boat brunch thing. Here's my question for you, all right? Put these on in a second. Are you a talker or are you a doer? I hope to see you at the top very, very soon. Peace.